more than 25 years experience of um, uh, value engineering and also life cycle costing. He's going to speak this afternoon about the synergy that exists, or at least should exist, between uh, uh, value engineering and sustainability. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good um, afternoon. Uh, what I'm going to talk about is just what I'm going to talk about is something uh, not hasn't been talked about in this uh, conference. Uh, it's uh, about value engineering. So I'm going to talk first about VE value engineering. Then I'm going to talk a little bit about the sustainable construction, and then we'll end on uh, talking about the synergy of both. Right? Um, you have seen many images so far of tall buildings, but you will not see it in my presentation here. Uh, but we can all uh, dream, uh, innovate, create uh, all what we can do. This is our option. But at the end, we'll have to go back to reality and how much does it cost. So, uh, uh, first, uh, now value studies, value engineering studies are mandatory in the following places. In the old the US federal uh, government project that are more than $2 uh, million. And in all the Japanese project that is more than $2 million. And uh, on all the Saudi government that are more than $5 million, And also in many other places. Now, uh, since uh, value engineering uh, started in the Gulf area in 1978 by Saudi Aramco, uh, more than 1,000 VE study has been done. Uh, more than 15,000 uh, 15, uh, persons participated in this uh, VE study. And also now it's done at the rate of 80 to 100 VE studies a year. Uh, it's improved the quality and so far uh, we have saved more than 5 billion US, uh, dollars. And I think this is uh, you know, a little bit conservative. I think it is much more than that. Uh, say the rate from 5 to 30 percent uh, from our capital projects. Uh, but the most important, the rate of return is 1 to 100, meaning for every dollar you spend on the study, you get $100 saved. I think that's uh, quite, a, quite a good deal. Now, in this 20 minute presentation, uh, by the way, uh, go about 80 slides, so you could follow with me the number at the bottom, you know what I'm going to finish. Uh, I'm going to uh, speak uh, all this in 20 minutes. Going to talk about what is it, what are we talking about, value engineering and the synergy, what, why we do it, what makes it different, you know, and uh, the VE benefits uh, for sustainable construction, and then rec uh, record some recorded results. Okay. Now the definitions, although uh, you know you've, you've heard it many times, the definition of sustainable construction, but these are academic definitions. We could either agree to it or not, or maybe choose a board. Here is a definition also for sustainable uh, construction. Uh, by the way, if anybody wants to have a copy of this presentation, I've got some CDs available for you, uh, and you could also bring your flash memory and get it. And uh, this is the definition of value engineering. It's an organized team effort aimed at analyzing functions and quality of projects uh, in order to generate practical cost effective uh, alternative that meet customer requirements. Now, you know, we, there are so many um, buzzwords that we hear now and then. I think the, the, the reason behind it, um, it's culture. Uh, you know, every country, society wants to be a leader rather than to be led. Uh, VE started in the US, um, British said we've got ISO on re-engineering, TKM is in Japan, but if you read all these, you'll see maybe 80 to 85 percent of the contact is the same. So, uh, you know, just on where and how and when to apply that difference. Now, uh, value, most people, when you hear the word value, people say money. Well, that is not the case. Uh, value uh, is, uh, you know, related to usefulness and benefits. And I'll just give you an example. If I would ask you, what is more expensive? Is it diamond or air? Well, air is free, you don't pay for it, but which is more valuable to you? It's air. So, uh, same thing like the, 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 the difference between gold and water. You know, you know gold is more expensive, but water is more uh, um, valuable to you. Uh, and it's centered around three uh, items, function, cost, and quality. I'm going to talk about it very, very, very briefly. Functions are the needs, the reason for the existence of that product, whatever the product is. And um, uh, quality is, uh, you know, the best
this definition is actually and it says uh, conforms to requirement or fit for use. So uh, uh, and if you uh, go to a farmer and tell him, uh, congratulations, you have won a car, which one do you choose from? Uh, a Mercedes Benz, one of those you know, exciting cars, or a pickup? Uh, remember, he's a farmer, so the farmer is going to uh, choose uh, a pickup. Uh, the reason it fits his use. And there are so many definitions of quality which I'm going to skip that because it has been done. But quality doesn't always mean uh, the best, uh, the, the, the perfection. It doesn't mean that. Quality means, as we said, fit for use. Doesn't mean tough. Doesn't mean last long, no, it doesn't. Uh, you see, this is a paper, this is a cone cup, you know, the one that you normally see in the hospitals. Uh, you, only, you only use it once. And you could uh, smash it with your hand just after one usage. But it is the best quality for that particular situation. So that's what, uh, uh, what we talk about quality. Uh, that engineer is done in uh, three stages, the pre-study, the post-study, and uh, the, the, the pre-study, the pre-workshop, and the post-study. And um, I'm not going to talk about in detail about that, but this is the seven phases of the value engineering job plan. We start with information, function analysis, creativity, evaluation, development, presentation, and then we go ahead and implement. Uh, when to do the value engineering, most people think it is done at way uh, at the end uh, of the design, which is absolutely the opposite. We do it normally, you see, the cost of implementation is, is low. And it gets more as you progress. And also the saving is high and decreases with time. And the most important line here is also the acceptance level. So we do it here before design. This is an in-house with the client only before, we, 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 before they contract with the designer. And uh, the second study is done at the latest at 30% of design. Uh, any, any further than that, there is no need because the implementation is going to be more, uh, the saving is going to be less, and the acceptance level is going to be also uh, low. Uh, so uh, that's uh, why we do it. Well, <coughs> we've, uh, we've uh, looked at uh, uh, those, uh, the senior managers who are normally the decision makers. And, uh, you know, we've asked this, the, the level of influence is high. And we've asked them many questions. One of the questions is, where do, you, where do you invest your time? That seven, eight hours a day, where do you invest it? Uh, they told us that it is on quality, almost 60%. Now, after we evaluate and validate it later on for three months, uh, what turned out to be is what they thought is 60 at end of only 5%. But where is the time devoted? It's for money. So this is a misconception about quality. And, uh, and also according to a survey in Saudi Arabia, that satisfaction is even becoming less and less, 13 to 4, 4%. And um, you see, uh, as an example uh, from Saudi Arabia, Look at this, uh, because of uh, not having standards for just only doors and windows, we are losing one uh, billion a year. And we're losing also 600 million a year just because we don't have standardized electrical uh, plugs. You know, these uh, items represent 5 to 7% of the total construction and we already lose 1.6 billion a year. So that is one reason why we do it. Uh, also, the, 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 the level of influence, who influences cost, uh, according to many statistics, it shows the designer, you know, the one who translates these uh, technical requirement or, or the requirement to a technical solution uh, is the designer. And uh, there are so many reasons for, uh, for uh, you know, uh, poor uh, value. What makes it different? We, we, uh, we don't just cover the technical issues, but we go beyond. We talk about financial and operational issues. Uh, we talk very specifically about goals, and we do measure uh, the value. You see, if you uh, look at the value that uh, sits in our three cornerstones, function, quality, and cost, and, uh, and, that way, and that equation, you see, now we said now, how do you, how do you, uh, you see, if you cannot measure it, you cannot improve it. So we have a way to measure uh, the value. I'm not going to talk about it and show you how, but I'm just going to show that to you. And uh, one of, one of, uh, one of uh, the things, can we quantify the quality? Uh, can, we, can we quantify the quality? Uh, the question shouldn't just be, be, just be yes or no. Uh, the answer should be uh, we should. And uh, this is one of the ways um, 
of how to do measure quality. This is out of 500, so notice 394 uh, out of 500. So we have a way to measure uh, the quality. Uh, so you, you cannot uh, claim improvement unless you have a way to measure it. And this is just an example. We we'll also have a quality model where we try to find the weather low quality area. And also we have, uh, now I'm just going to show you the images of what we do, not how we do it. Uh, this is the quality model. We also have something called study area selection matrix, uh, where we try to improve uh, the value. Also, uh, we rely on the Pareto's model, where it says uh, the 80-20 principles, 80% 80 of the cost comes uh, from 20% of the items. And so uh, we do that. Uh, it's a heavy concentration on value engineering is on uh, life cycle costing. Um, many times we just deal with the first cost, which is we only see the tip of the iceberg. But uh, if, you, if you realize, you know, this is the, only the tip, the, the what's below the surface is the hidden cost, which we normally don't, uh, you know, do. But in value engineering, this is one of the strengths of value engineering. Uh, notice here, uh, this is a hospital, cost 365 million uh, real, almost 100 million dollars. All that is only 8% of the total cost. So uh, if, even if we say 100 million, what have we done? We've just reduced uh, 8 to 6%. That's what we've done. Uh, but uh, the real saving was on the rest of the pie, which is the 92%. Uh, this is another project in uh, Dubai. With our, notice the revenue and the expenses. We are 6.3 net. We found out that we are not going to make, uh, make it up or break even until the year 1990. So uh, this is obviously it's not a profitable project. We said let's just increase the revenue to 16 and lower the announcement to 2. This may be impossible. Even if we do this, the break-even will be near 40. Now, what do you call this? Now, how do you know this without really doing life cycle cost analysis? Now, uh, we know that uh, you've seen it many times, I've heard it at least a couple of days, that buildings and infrastructure, they, 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 they pollute uh, the, the, the environment uh, tremendously. And uh, so now, uh, I'm just going to talk very briefly, I know it is in the paper, it is all uh, detailed, but uh, I'm just going to show you what, where we concentrate on, on value engineering. I have to go very quick. Now, uh, in, the, in the information phase, now that's what we do on value engineering. We, we just collect information cost data. As far as sustainable construction issues, we try to minimize of resource and consumption, max, maximization for, for, for resource reuse, uh, use renewable uh, or recyclable resources. So I'm just going to talk about two or three items of each one. So I'm just, just going to go very quickly on that. Uh, as far as function analysis, we also, uh, on, on, uh, on uh, sustainable, we define uh, the function of sustainable, sustainable construction issues, defined in, uh, as an information phase. Uh, we look at the dimensions of functions. And uh, as far as uh, the creativity, we try to minimize the energy and try to avoid the uh, pollution. We've done it in so many uh, environmental uh, projects like uh, sewage plants, treatment plants, uh, housing projects and all that. Uh, preserving and enhancing uh, biodiversity and also conserving water resources. And uh, also uh, in, the, in the evaluation phase, we have also, uh, we go through so many uh, sustainable construction issues. Uh, uh, like uh, the flexibility, maximize efficient use, use resource, increase searchability and all that. And then, uh, uh, then at the end, we, uh, we uh, uh, try to come up with something that is functional, better quality, and done at less time. Now, uh, V is a task oriented. V has many tools and techniques. Uh, it also improves the quality of save money at the, sa at the same time. Therefore, so V helps the plan a better sustainable construction. It also improves uh, technical, operational, and financial issues. Also, this proposed uh, synergy, it hasn't been talked about yet. Well, maybe it will just open a window for you or others to go and explore it even more. And, um, well, we'll just, uh, uh, you know, see, uh, uh, that's, we just saw the, the implementation of value engineering. Uh, um, we do it at 30% before 30%, or also we apply the 80-20 principles. And again, uh, we'll talk just very briefly about the benefits uh, of value engineering or mixing V with the sustainable construction to improve the quality performance. 
uh, and coming up with many practical solutions, improve uh, the design and also improve the quality, and you could save 5 to 10 percent. Any saving more better than that? It's not, uh, how much? Is that? That's right. <laughs> All right. Okay, now uh, it's avoid unnecessary cost during operation maintenance and minimize risk. As far as individuals, uh, there are certification in value engineering like NDSB and PNCPS. You could uh, just go to uh, our website or send an email if you're all about it. And it's also increased the, the, the synergy ability, differentiate between alternative use of BE tools and others. And um, well, we can we just skip that. And uh, if, if you need any more information, here is uh, my email. Uh, or if you just get uh, my card, you need more information on that. And uh, thank you very much.